her leaving wow <laughs> shook me rocked me welcome back to an episode from your favorite queer couple my name is Gera Wiedewe and today i'm rocking solo reporting live from south africa johannesburg as my other half is currently in sydney australia and yeah living her best life and i guess fulfilling a dream which she, she has always had yeah bear with me today i'm not really one to sit alone and do a youtube video but i was like you know what it's been a few months i feel like i'm ready and i feel like we've created a community of people who then can also allow me to find i guess my flow in this youtube thing and today we are going to get into a life update i was like you know what i'm feeling good if it's a club i feel like i'm looking good so let me go and sit and actually kind of you know journal today is the 7th of july 2024 and i feel like a lot of us have treated july like a new january or i think we have recognized july as really the halfway point and i also then used it as an opportunity to reflect on how this year has been for me and i'd like to share that with you guys all right 2024 all right let's get into it number one my granddad passed away from my maternal side so i think if you've been with us in the channel you you know that my my gran who partly raised me when i was growing up as well passed away in 2019 so then my granddad who then was her husband passed away and yeah so he passed away on the 2nd of january 2024 uh, which was my mom's birthday i i literally drove home we were there all of us as a family it was so nice we're taking pictures we bought cake my dad was brying like what a beautiful way to to start the year and then i drove back home uh, because i was starting work on the 3rd of january drove home i came here to Joburg, and my dad called me and told me that my granddad had passed away so that was a big a big loss he fell ill i'd say mid-november there was that looming you know uncertainty about his health and therefore um about how long he might still be with us um it was a big shock at the same time i feel like even if someone is ill the reality of them not being there anymore um is still very painful therefore due to his passing the funeral was then that weekend and i unfortunately had to miss gugu's farewell party um and something that we had been planning and, and, and had spoken about i think it was the first time missing something so big um of gugu's but i loved it gugu came so the funeral was on a sunday gugu's um party was on saturday and being like i, I feel like a grandchild i literally was there from friday i appreciated it because gugu came um on saturday Sunday, you know, she wasn't at the funeral, but she came after, you know, the funeral came, I wanna go mama, and yeah, she finally set foot in the yard where I was raised, you know, where I was running around, getting wheelbarrow, going up. So for me, it was a beautiful moment, me walking her through my grandparents' home, walking her through the yard and being able to share with her um, a very, very sentimental part of my life and my upbringing so that's how my year started seeing my mom who's lost both her parents as well and having to hold her the fact that she was the only child as well so i think seeing my brother my dad my sister all of us really coming around her and protecting her and giving her our love yeah it really for me also you know solidified the blessing that i have of a family with it's filled with love my aunts my uncle my grandma grandma you know um it was it was beautiful and and I, I thoroughly appreciated it and to everyone who reached out to me once um they found out and i shared with them thank you so much for that so then what happened is linked to that last year there was a vlog where i shared that we, my mom and i of our family but being led mostly by my mom and i and my grandma was that um we were you know doing a tombstone unveiling um and, and by the end of 2023 um the highlight was that um so we, we had bought the tombstone they had erected it 
it was so beautiful and my granddad was there and therefore due to his passing and like due to the elders and the meetings that they had on the 7th of January was both my granddad's funeral and then we walked over and then it was my grandmother's unveiling. Wow. Wow, I'm still unpacking those emotions. I'll be I'll be very honest. But yeah, I think that that was a big a big start to the year. I, for that I coin grief and loss. And then two weeks later, Google then left. I couldn't go with her. The arrangements, you know, of her leaving and you know her talking to the company and everything, they happened quite quickly. So therefore, it happened that okay, no, you know what, I, I couldn't go with her at that point in time, but it was there with the family and her family at the airport and stuff like that. And yeah, her leaving, wow. <laughs> shook me rocked me but at the same time i was so proud of her you know so proud of her going out fulfilling a dream that she's always had going solo to unknown waters unknown lands millions and millions of kilometers away no not millions but <laughs> so that was january then a big highlight in march was me then being able to go and see gugu and be in australia with her for a full month so the whole of march i was there and what a blessing it was i missed her you i missed her but i loved knowing her new life and i and i, I appreciate her putting me in her life learning her new life learning the things that she had to learn and yo i have so much respect for her like just being there number one from the airport getting herself to where she had to stay figuring out the transport system wow superstar and i was like i told her like i'm so inspired by her and i'm so proud of her and damn shout out other highlights of 2024 is that yo guys for the very first time spending so much time with family i was there for my mom's birthday go went home for father's day went home for uh, mother's day was my sister's 13th birthday got to spend that with her like so much family time and i thoroughly enjoyed that i spent a whole sunday with my uncle you know and he was cooking for me too good i'd go for weekends here with um an aunt of mine and, and, and her partner and i'd spend the whole saturdays with them just chilling so i've really enjoyed seeping really into family now let's get into the emotions of it all the reaction to change so i'd say number one people always ask me like oh my gosh you you went to australia you went to visit Google, how was it and i've realized that i'm still struggling to describe my time there like I, I can be factual about we went there we saw this we ate this but to describe my feelings something that i'm still working through and as i was preparing this video i realized that i'm still finding it difficult to explain it because i feel like a part of me is still dealing with the disappointment that i was unable to go with her you know that we were not able to do this together and it is because or mainly because of the fact that i haven't qualified in my profession so i think dealing with that disappointment of not being where i thought i would be in my qualification journey and therefore seeing a direct consequence of it of me then not being able to go and just work in sydney with my partner is something that i'm still working through so that that's a big emotion or emotional jungle <laughs> or maze that i have to be honest about that i'm still maneuvering but i'd say when i then look at the positive side of google leaving is number one i've really enjoyed the partner that i am to see myself step up in my relationship with Google, whoa like i can give you examples like as soon as Google landed in australia it was a nine hour time difference i think it was like my 2 a.m or something like that staying up with her being on the phone with her as she was like getting her bags as she you know going through customs 
everything i was on the phone call so i couldn't see it but i was with her on the phone and i feel like that for me it showed me like damn i am really committed to this relationship and i'm loving the fact that i'm showing up i'm showing up in my actions and not just in my words and it's it's been something that i feel like when you date someone for so long you can get into certain routines and you don't know how a change could affect the relationship right you don't know if you will still be able to meet your partner's needs as they change right that's the thing about longevity you you get to settle right the, the curve is not as steep anymore it's not a steep learning curve of your partner and they love languages and the restaurants they like and blah 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 blah, blah. there comes a point where you settle you, you you are comfortable with knowing their every move and so i feel like i haven't been perfect but i've seen a lot of growth of myself and showing up and being able to meet my partner's needs and most importantly also her emotional needs so very proud of myself in that regard on a personal level i'm proud of myself for not rushing and filling up my life with things i've really enjoyed saying this is the new thing there's been loss you lost your granddad who is in the, you guys are doing a long distance i haven't rushed to fill things up i've really given myself time to get used to the new normal and as i'm filming this video i can proudly say that i'm used to the new normal i became fine with being alone i didn't fill up and say hey join me every saturday join me let's make plans no i've enjoyed solitude i've enjoyed like i'm back to running i am watching so many shows like i've learned that i am really good at picking up good tv shows like picking up a tv show mwah, i'm your girl i'm re-watching old things i'm like what this is hilarious so i've been watching a lot of tv running cooking guys i am cooking a storm google was the main person who would cook when she left i realized i lost that skill and to see myself regain that skill wow mwah, chef's kiss and also seeing myself run a household front to back wow 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 like i can take out the trash i can clean the house i can go grocery shopping i can come back and cook i can decide my meals i can do my laundry i can recognize i can be like okay do i want to clean the house or am i going to call the lady to clean the house you know what i mean like oh i need self-care i need to go get my hair done i'll go get my car rolls done and wow journaling much more that has been great for me and i feel like all of that i'm pulling myself towards myself i'm more aware of my body and of my emotions i'm not in the survival mode anymore like my emotions are ever ready if i feel like crying i let it cry i'm missing my granddad I'm missing my granny sometimes i'm just missing home i want i'm like oh this weekend i'm sad maybe i should have gone home and i'll cry about it i'm like oh okay it's not that bad put on a show put on a movie having a good time and coming back to what i said about having to deal with the disappointment of not being where i thought i would be in terms of my qualification i've really used this time i've made a lot of progress you know in terms of okay cool this is what is in reach with the exams that i've passed i can get this designation what do i still need oh abc trust me your girl is standing on business with those abc's and i have found a lot of joy in that yeah and i i'd say at this moment in time how i describe how i'm feeling i'm proud of myself i'm grateful and i feel like i have changed my system i'm, I'm not moving from a place of desperation constantly what's the next thing i'm actually aware of how i feel i'm then able to communicate that to guru i feel like our communication has skyrocketed because now that's our main fault like we're always on a phone call therefore we're always talking like i know her more now she even knows me you know I, i'm enjoying that so yeah I'm, I'm grateful um to to god i'm grateful to my ancestors and i'm grateful to you know my family um I, i'm really grateful to them for for the space and how they've allowed me to transition 
um, this change, but also to check in on me. I'm also grateful to Google's family as well because they have also really been like, hey, we're doing this. Do you want to come over? You know, you hey, you guys used to come over on Fridays. Feel free to still come over. So I've, I've really, I've really enjoyed that. And yeah, I think in closing, that has been my life update. I really hope that um, I communicated it quite well to you guys and that you guys have an idea of who, how I am. And lastly, um, to my love, she didn't know that I was gonna film this. Um, I'm proud of you. I love you so much. I miss you so much. But I do feel like um, this year was needed for us to also find ourselves and thank you for still choosing me even though you're miles away and for showing me the love that you always show me for still being my number one point of call for still supporting me even if i have my you know insecurities about oh i'm not where i think i should be and also for being a champion and allowing me to recognize what i have achieved and to stand firm in that yeah gratitude from my side and i'm wishing everyone kindness i'm wishing everyone revelation um and i'm wishing alignment on people for the 2024 for the rest of 2024 if you're planting plant where you know the soil is has been tilled and, and is rich and if you're harvesting truly celebrate the harvest uh, because you have worked hard for it that's it from can i read it tomboy don't lose it <laughs> and um yeah thank you so much i thoroughly enjoyed this and thank you Mwah.